Yep, so we're bypassing the mechanical fuel pump because it leaks like a sieve and it, I think it leaks um, gas out of the crankcase and oil as well because there was smoke coming from down there when we were getting it started. So we're going to use the electric pump on the fuel tank and we're rerouting it. We just whip down to the um, super cheap. automotive, yeah, super cheap. The, parts shop and um, got a bit of a bit of eight millimeter fuel line also known as five sixteenths fuel line that's the inner diameter eight millimeters there you see taking that out we'll leave that that fuel pump on there at the moment because otherwise you have a massive oil leak source but I think what we'll do is um, make a plate and bolt that onto the side of the block where that thing comes from. and we'll rely on the, yeah. the existing electric pump for a start and we will probably get a new whiz bang electric pump at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Don't need one on the center, like. jet, jet clamping it onto the carburetor. Stick it onto the end of a mysterious pipe hanging down in the breeze. Yeah, I'm flapping in the breeze. It is. Um, Mikey, we're I'm getting the super sharp serrated knife. Don't cut your hand off because you. I don't cut my fingers off, please. Yep, your hand will fall off at the wrist in one slash with this thing. It's quite amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you almost made me. Cutting, cutting. Yep. If it didn't cut me, that would oh be my god. It's done. It. Don't damage please. the paint, will you? No. <laughs> oh my god, because it's so good. The paint job's so good. Jed, clamp it. I've only got about hey! 50 clamps left. How do I know that? I'm in the middle of a grass paddock. Can you check that, please? What a random air cleaner there. Yeah, yeah and that. Bit. I'm off. Son, you talk a lot of bullshit. I gotta get it from someone. Don't I? <laughs> well, I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God! What are we doing here? Oh, just keep your brushes on. Now, this is gonna have to be cable tied to something. Is it too long? Can't tie cable tight to the steering column. No. Because that wouldn't be ideal. That freaking thing fell off the end of it. I suppose it, you know, like. Mm. Just heat is the only worry, eh? Mm. I need another clamp. The jet. The other side. Yeah, yeah, See? Jet yeah. clamp it. <laughs> so it's too hard to get into that one without a knife. I'm just saying. You, know, this one. you take it off again. The way this pipe's running, it's easier to do it this way. I reckon he's onto something there, Arthur. You reckon? Because I it keeps know. it away from the heat. And did you know that the boiling point for petrol is about, same as what ethanol is, about 78 degrees or something stupid. And uh, running temperature, the motor will be about 82, so it's past the boiling point. Of so if you, if you cable tied it onto here, you'll end up with a vapour lock, which the old man used to get in, the, in an old Dodge in the 70s. So, you know, if you could, you lean on him. potentially, oh, yep. oh my God, we're bending it, man. Yeah. We're why bending you, it, man. Because I can without flattening it. You just got to be really careful. Otherwise, it'll end in tears. Tears, I tell you, right. Okay, now we can go that way. 
see that thing up there even though it's a here no that's a breather hose see that can get cable tied up to there that'll be cooler than you'd believe there's not going to be a massive amount of heat in it all right and then i'll just run around the back like that all right okay kind of a brackety thing do we, have a zip tie? do we have zip ties probably and a flat screwdriver flat screwdriver there it is oh, right there. thank you where you left it oh yeah um is that enough length or is it too long um, i don't know maybe you're telling the story right, i'm just gonna, gonna run it to there that looks, looks all right. right to me Yes, here we go. It's first time moving in a long time, let me tell you. It's so noisy. Well, it doesn't actually have a working exhaust. Can you hold that for a second? goes so now we've got to get it to stop have a handbrake have an exhaust get the ignition key in an appropriate spot yeah do electrics like wire uh, lights and stuff but yeah, yeah. Th there's bits of the front brakes and missing so wheel cylinders and maybe brake shoes yes so but exhausting. say we're coming out to go to church one day and it's like uh, we can't strike we're struggling to wake up but whoa that just lifts your spirits up I can do this but we do need a new water pump see that leak that that water leak so that's out of this water pump it's coming out of the gland around the front where that you know where the fan comes through the drive goes into it and also that Welsh plug is um has got a hole in it so yeah that's the most important fixes that need to be done for a start. Uh, yeah. Um, steering seems to work okay. Um, brakes are an issue. And yeah, we'll need issue. to. That that will be the next episode. Is getting the electrics and brakes to work. And but open. yes. But. To charge. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and. Hit the notification button because you don't want to miss out on our episodes that we do for this thing. So, anyway, thanks. <laughs>